Hello, uh, welcome back. Since the this web party, the uh, following part uh, need some back and forth between the web prodigy and the prodigy desktop. So I want to do uh, the several exercise together with you. So I split this into uh, the two parts. Now it's a nice uh, continue uh, to do this uh, second part. Uh, in the part one, we stop here. We have uh, create our Chicago pizza subclass uh, under named pizza, but we cannot do this uh, action be because we need to uh, do this only in the Prodigy desktop. So uh, we could, of course, just export uh, ontology from web project to Prodigy and then create another new project. But if you uh, have a new class, new subclass create or editing in web Prodigy, this uh, cycle will be quite troublesome. Uh, because you need to uh, make this uh, new project uh, creating uh, every time. So that's uh, uh, luckily uh, we don't need to do like uh, this uh, uh, the bad uh, sequence. We have a better way which we want to do uh, within this uh, video. So to start, we need to export the ontology to a file, definitely. So note that one of the tab at the top is a history. Let me see here. So these are the history. Uh, this type show a list of each version of the ontology. So now we have a uh, initial import is uh, revision one, and we have add our subclass. So it's very clear on the uh, the history. So we create a subclass as a subclass of named class. Uh, so with this label. So that make the our ontology become a revision two. The most recent version is on the top. Uh, we want to export the latest version two or version R two. Uh, click on the R two icon. You can see here. This should give you a drop down list of the menu. E one is the revert change in revision two. O Download. So reward is also our powerful things. So imagine is if you want to drop what you have done on Chicago Pizza subclass creation, you can reward change to revision one. So that can return your project back to the states before you create this Chicago Pizza. But what we want to do is now is just download. Download the revision two. So let's see. This should give you uh, select download. We are probably with the standard browser for your to save a zip file uh, because I'm using the uh, the Chrome. So it's uh, by default is uh, download themselves. So let let me open where it's coming. So. Pizza with data revision to ontology dot all dot zip, so that is our compressed uh, version. So now uh, let's see where can be saved. Select a proper place. Do the standard thing you would do to do to unzip. Let's uh, make this uh, unzip extract. So I just extract uh, here. Let me see. So, it's uh, revision two. So I got this uh, folder, and this is our project file. Oh, something like pizza. So that is the folder, and this is the file. So now we are coming to here. Load the downloaded file into project. So this one. Let's, let me cut this and put this into, oh, maybe it's, uh, what I do is I cut this uh, folder and go to our repository and put in here. So this is what our, our exported file. So I make that all outside the screen. So stop. 
minimize the web property back to our property, I still open the, our original uh, the file. So uh, let me try to uh, make uh, those things. Open, open the file. Do you want to open the ontology in the current? No. Um, let me open in a new window. So come to this one. Ensure you go to this and select this one. You should load that in our new window. So not impact this uh, original all file and now just to double check is uh, your files uh, folder is uh, here in the correct path after the load is by default is coming to the active ontology go to the entity class hierarchy navigate to pizza named pizza we have our Chicago pizza here. Add the action, refer back to chapter 4, so you need to remember how to add. High space, sound, deep, pan, bass. High space, sound. So we need to have our bass. Oh, deep, pan, bass already have that. So we can directly add Add the subclass, subclass of. So, object restriction has space. Has space sum deep pen base. So like this, let me open the reasoner, save the file, now go back to web proxy, note that in the upper right corner of the window there are link, web project and your version of the pizza ontology there. So let's uh, close this. We just uh, add something and go to the web property. Let's see here. In the upper right corner of the window, there is a link drop down menu such as display project, select the project. And from the drop down menu, select apply external edits and then give you a small dialog upload the ontology and we choose file choose our just the deep ontology file so we have this uh, revision tool which we just edited here and then choose that and click ok that should result in a new pop-up window titled Merge, Merge Ontology. So like the Git processing, where you can see the change, apply change from an external edit. Where you can describe, so add one object property for Chicago pizza is some deep pen base. That is our comments. Add some message and take the default. Chicago subclass has based on deep pen base. And then now, OK. The upload ontology was successfully merged, perfect, into the project. Then, OK. Now, let's see. 
So refresh Chicago. If you navigate back to class Chicago deep pan. So now this is what we added in the desktop part. Now see this uh, action. You can also navigate back to name the pizza. In the rightmost column, you should see the comments about the needing to add the Chicago pizza at our subclass. Now this has been done. You, we can do the resolve. So to apply change from an uh, external, when I did this uh, resolve, is uh, this com feed is coming. So that is uh, what message I did, and we have uh, resolved these uh, comments. So that is the interesting uh, part. Is uh, playing for web prodigy. I hope is uh, you got some idea. Uh, so. Uh, once you uh, finish this, you can back to simply uh, how we can back to our project home. So this one, yes. So now you you see your last open, last modified. You can open a new window, download, uh, and uh, you can uh, just see it's uh, owned by me shared with me so uh, the project is uh, you can also share with uh, others so let's see i think it's uh, here from here link share enabled sign in required and you can share with uh, the people the people should have the web uh, prodigy id so uh, if you know the people then you can just uh, add that uh, and also, let's see, display primary project and display name, secondary display name. So those are you can do. And add a type. So we didn't did this uh, thing. So all classes, all properties. So we have those. All class. So we add this all class. These are the, base, uh, the normal class, but all class uh, looks uh, same. But they don't have uh, the other class on uh, the tab. But you can add a block tab, uh, so you can create something. Then uh, you you can maybe the customize uh, this uh, display. So uh, hope, <coughs> excuse me, hope you play uh, around on those and uh, you get some idea on how this web project is uh, working. Uh, it's kind of our way. Uh, to help you to do the uh, this uh, collaborating. Now you can also see after we resolved those uh, comments, uh, we now moving to the revision three. So they have also the uh, those changes are coming from the external. So that is uh, quite uh, clear on the uh, this uh, revision uh, history checking, uh, and also you can check is uh, every uh, the class. So this class was uh, did by September 4th, uh, and this uh, Chicago pizza is we did uh, the also some change. So every uh, class you can have some change. Let's try it again, not a data type. So those will. So we need to find this uh, data type to see the change. So, and then every class you can see also three change three thirty three thirty seven minutes ago so uh, because we load that into uh, the web prodigy then they have the initial revision one then after that is we don't change this one so they only have this uh, and we change the the Chicago pizza so they have uh, some more revision so revision two we create that revision three we apply some external change all the others are in the revision one so if you have some changing uh, applied to those then you will have uh, some more uh, the history uh, can be retrieved so those are uh, the things i hope you uh, get a uh, 
well understood on this uh, uh, protology practice. Uh, next video, I will talk a little bit about one visualization uh, option for uh, the, this uh, pizza O. Uh, then uh, we can wrap up of our uh, series of the video. Thank you for your watching. See you then.